and thanks for joining us for another Whitfields Copycat Recipe. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another. Oh, I already did that. Today, we are showing you how to make, and I know not everyone is lucky enough to have a wall book, I guess, near them in Dorchester. Unless you're there, <laughs> next to SpongeBob SquarePants, Bastard Red Sox. We have an Orlando. Actually, there's two in Orlando. Yeah. And we love them. They're good. I think they're great. Some people think they're overrated. I just realized how fucked up these lights are. Say hi, Bob Kitty. Don't worry, she'll get some leftovers. Lies. We happen to think Wahlburgers is great. Now, it's a bit of a hike on a five hour round trip to go get a burger. Luckily, they sell a proprietary blend. They have a house blend that you can buy. They also have this short rib. This blend is the only one that we have near us, so it'll do. And we want to show you, just in case you don't have a Wahlburger near you, hopefully you, your uh, local grocery store does sell this meat. I know Winn-Dixie. If you have Winn-Dixie, and I think Winn-Dixie is also like buy low, yeah, in so. other states, and there's a couple of them. Like in different states, are basically owned by the same people. So I would think that if Winn Dixie here has it, then Bilo there probably have it. So check out there. You know, on sale from five ninety nine to about nine dollars. Not a pound though. It's one point three three. Yeah, these are hurdy. If you want to know how to make this, here you go. What makes this recipe different from just the basic burger is, of course, the meat itself. Then the very specific build of condiments, and just as important, the secret wall sauce. No, not a secret. We found the ingredients. Here's how you make it. Get your pan nice and hot. Throw in some olive oil. Slice up a quarter of a large white onion. And you're going to saute those bad boys. This is essentially an aioli. Aioli. Hey. So keep that pan nice and hot. Stir them so you don't burn them. If you need to, reduce it a little bit. I like to add just a little smidge of water. Get that steam going. And it also makes those onions nice and soft. Which is what you want for this. Okay, now that's your first ingredient. Number two about a quarter cup of mm, mayo, my favorite. And then two tablespoons of ketchup, that's ketchup for the layman, a little grab of fresh parsley, that's a measurement, a grab. Just grab a little parsley. And then a little squeeze of sriracha. Then blend, I'm using my little ninja bullet magic thing. It works. Now don't be lazy, toast them buns. No one likes soggy buns, no one. Now open your Wahlburgers proprietary blend. Not sponsored. I wish it was. Come on, step up, Donnie, Mark, and Paul. Sponsor us, please. Now, what's really funny is I've actually seen people complain online about the color and the fattiness of this burger, which is kind of ridiculous because the color and the fattiness and richness is because it's not just ground chuck. It's brisket and short rib, which is very rich, fatty, and quite frankly, expensive meat. So this is gonna be a completely different burger experience. So if you're complaining about that, that's on you. You grab the wrong kind of beef. Now make sure your pan smokes you right out of the kitchen. It's all part of the process. I know what I'm doing, ish. Three and a half minutes per side. Put a little salt, put a little pepper. I like to put my little lid on here because it gives it a nice even steam bath. Flip it three and a half to four minutes. It really just depends on how well you like your burger done. I like mine three and a half minutes worth of done. Now this is important to this burger's taste and texture. This is the government cheese. This is the cheese that they got from the government when they were kids. And this is the way Papa used to make it at home. So you have to get American cheese. It has to be American cheese. If you want this right, I like to get it from the deli. It melts better, textures better. You can use Kraft Singles, but be warned, it's not the same. Now, something that's really funny, out of all these ingredients and very specific ways to make it, I had the hardest time figuring out what kind of lettuce they used. I'm not kidding. I looked at the pictures, I looked at the site. The site just says lettuce. I didn't know if it's green leaf. I didn't think it was red leaf. It could be butter. It could be just iceberg. I landed on romaine. I think it's romaine, but I do know that it's sliced. Yeah. A Wahlburgers burger isn't a Wahlburgers burger if you don't build it in the Wahlburgers way. Say that three times fast. This is the order it has to be.
There you go. And you do got to do in that order. We just watched the episode last night. And he said that's an important order. Um, that sauce, I kind of kind of wung it on the sauce. We just know the ingredients. We've actually had Wahlberg's, so we'll kind of know if it's even remotely close. And then we'll yeah. be able to tell you this isn't just flying blind. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. This is a long time I'm to make it. Whew, it's a big bird. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, cheese. That cheese is killer. All of it together is so good. Look at that. It does stand out. Burger's about medium. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. But with that beef being that much thicker, that much heavier, and it's a higher fat content, it's a lot more rich because of the short rib, it allows that char. Yeah. Because the fat content just like bubbles up and gets that char on there that. It's not, and it's not that like hockey puck char. It's that perfect crisp. It's just like almost, and it's not on the grill. If you threw this on the grill, it'd be fantastic. I try to cook it more like they do. They cook it on a griddle. The combination of that and everything they put on there tends to be on the thicker side. They put like three full onion rings on there. They put the pickles in the middle of the onion rings and that on top of a pretty thick cut tomato that's on a bed of lettuce that's being held together by the adhesive that is the um, Paul sauce, the Wahlburger sauce. It's definitely very um, and that cheese different the way they build it. Yeah, and I know some people think that the way it's built doesn't mean anything. It supposedly does one way. It's supposed to be the way it touches your palate, and the other way it's supposed to be so it doesn't all fall apart. But I think with the thickness they put on there, it's he's clearly designed this to taste a certain way mm -hmm. and texture. There is a texture on this that is very pleasing. It makes the bun kind of squishy, but not too squishy. So how do you think it compares to the ones they sell in the place, in the restaurant? I mean, the experience going there, getting it fresh off the griddle. Their buns are better. We use generic buns for the most part. Their buns are really nice and like buttered on top and they're big and fluffy. But the overall, just the vibe you get, like the, the, the way your taste buds experience it, it's very similar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like while it might not be spot on because of the bond, maybe the sauce isn't spot on, it is close enough that I instantly remembered what it tasted like. Mm -hmm. And so for you, if you don't have a Wahlburgers near you and you go, well, I wanna know what it tastes like, this will get you in the ballpark for sure. Very okay. good. I didn't realize that he put sauce on. I didn't either. I didn't know there was a wall sauce. Gotta build it this way. That accent comes and goes for me. I don't really get it, but I kind of get it. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't know why that's one of them. I made that up, and it's stuck. What are you gonna give the meat itself? Meat itself? You have a 4.5 out of 5. Why not 5? Because it's not quite the same as theirs. Marker 4.5. Like, what do you mean? You had to elaborate on that? Yeah, I didn't think so. Let me go pop this shirt off. The meat itself, I give that five out of five any day, all every day, but it's still, it's like Jen's. It's a five out of five, unless you go there, then it's a six out of five. Yes. So guys, that's what we think. Let us know what you think. Is there any recreations you want to see us make from restaurants that maybe you'd like to try to go to one day, but don't have them in your neck of the woods? That almost sounded right. Here's our last video, so you know what we're up to. Here's a Patreon. Thank you. If you want to follow us on Patreon and support the channel, we really appreciate it. With that apocalypse, we need all the support we can get. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and until next time.